What is up everybody, Shri Kanase here. So recently I've been thinking a lot about this topic, exactly how much should you be spending per product test? Is the answer to this question one specific answer or are there several different answers for this question? Now this is one video which actually applies to every single person out there using Facebook ads or Google ads or any other marketing platform to make a killing on your own e-commerce store. I mean, if you advertise online, you may want to know exactly what is that perfect number for you, which you can go by every single time you're launching a brand new product. Now, if you stick with me till the end, I'm going to be convincing you of two different things. The first one is that the answer to this question is not as easy as people make it seem on YouTube. There is not one specific answer, but rather multiple different answers depending on your situation. So this video does apply to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. And the second thing that I want to convince you of is that this video is worthy of smashing that like button. Okay, I was just joking, but you should definitely smash that like button. But the real second thing is that all of these different ways of testing a specific product depends on one thing only. It's not IQ or it's not a special power that you were born with, it's budget. But without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. So how much for testing products? The first tester I like to call the frugal tester. Now, what do I mean exactly by the frugal tester? Who qualifies under the frugal tester category? Well, just like the word itself, frugal, it's basically someone who likes to live within their means or someone who may be forced to live within their means just because they don't have as much of a budget as someone else. So when it comes to frugal testing, there is only one thing that you can possibly do because you have a limited budget. So with the limited budget, I normally recommend that you ask actually start with Google ads rather than Facebook ads. I know this may be not something you're more willing to do as Google ads is a completely different platform, but rest assured I have many tutorials on Google ads on my channel for you to check out. And the reason why I recommend that frugal testers are people with a limited budget and have no accessibility of accessing more budget start with, and this actually relates to college students, young entrepreneurs, just like myself, teenagers, or even older adults who don't have as much to invest because they have a family to support. This is the perfect way for you to start with and that's Google Ads. With the Google Ads, you'll need about $100 to $200 maximum investment because with Google, you can test all of the products on your store in one go instead of Facebook Ads where you have to test one by one. But if you're still one of the bolder people who says, Nope, I'm not going with Google. I want to go straight into Facebook. That's still good, but you just have to take a little bit more precaution. And for those people, I recommend that you spend at least a minimum of $50 testing per product. Now, this is the bare minimum. Of course, you can spend more as your budget allows, but as a frugal tester, you need to keep your budget in mind because it's already limited. You can't run through all of your money or take as much of a risk as somebody else with a bigger budget. So in order to effectively test a product with just $50, there's two things that you can do. The first option is running seven ad sets at $5 per day. I know you may be thinking, but doesn't seven times five equal 35? So I'm already spending more than half of my budget on the first day. And that's not necessarily true because once you launch these specific ad sets, seven different ad sets to be specific, not every single ad set is going to get you clicks. And if you have watched my ad metric video on exactly when to kill ad sets, you know that I like to kill ad sets if they don't have a single link like by $1.50 spent. What I've personally noticed is that when I launch five ad sets for testing new products, I generally have two to three ad sets which don't even get link clicks by $1.50 spent. So right there, you're already getting rid of half of the ad sets. So on day one, let's say you're already get, getting rid of two ad sets because they didn't get a link click by $1.50 spent, you only have three left. So on the second day, these three ad sets are going to only spend $15. So you're still within your profit margin and you get to effectively test that product. The second way to test your product with $50, and this is a method if you're not willing to wait as long, you just want results fast so you can move on, that's completely fine as well. But in this case, you're only gonna wanna launch four ad sets at $10 per day each. Again, the same scenario, you're gonna have usually one to two ad sets 
which don't follow the metric outlined, meaning no link click by $1.50 spent or no add to cart by $7 to $9 spent. So again, on the second day, you're only going to be left with a fraction of the ad sets you started out with. So this lets you effectively test products at a lower budget. But again, I highly recommend you start out with Google Ads just because for lower budget people, Google Ads really lets you test out your products, all of them at one time instead of doing it one by one and it saves you the money that you want to be saved. But what if you're not a frugal tester? What if you don't have a budget problem as much as the frugal testers? Exactly, what do you do then? Well, you're in luck today because I have another category and this second category is known as the carefree tester. So when you say the word carefree, what comes to mind? Someone who doesn't have a care in the world, you know, they're not too worried about anything. And that can be applied as a testing strategy as well. So for a carefree tester, budget is not necessarily too big of a problem, but you kind of still need to be careful. I mean, you're not able to spend a thousand dollars a day. You're not even able to spend maybe $200 a day, maybe even a hundred dollars a day, but budget isn't as big of a problem as the first category. You know, you don't have a big family to support. You're not working minimum wage jobs. You have a good amount of money saved up or you have access to more money so in this case how do you test products what do you do well in this case what i recommend is that you spend a minimum of 125 dollars testing the product but one key thing to keep in mind if you're part of this category is do not go crazy testing products because you're gonna run through all of your money pretty quickly if you do instead what you want to do is invest more of your time up front what do I mean by invest more of my time up front? Do you just give Facebook ads a clock that you have in your home? Not quite. So when I say invest more time, what I'm saying is put a little bit more time into gaining knowledge. Watch YouTube videos. You can watch my videos on advertising or you can watch somebody else's videos. But the main thing you have to do is invest more time learning. And then the second thing you want to do is invest the money that you have. Don't just go straight up and invest all of your money because you're going to lose it really quickly if you don't know what you're doing. And all of these categories should apply this strategy as well, investing more time upfront. But the second category actually needs to pay more attention to it because you just have the amount of money which you're not really afraid to invest. And people who aren't afraid sometimes do a little bit too much. But what is an effective way to test products that let you test up to $125 in total? So again, the first way is launching $5 per day ad sets and you want to launch 12 of them to 12 different audiences. Again, the same thing that happened in the first category will happen in this one as well. You're going to have two to three ad sets, maybe even four that don't follow our specific guidelines as to getting link clicks by $1.50 spent or add to cards by $7 to $9 spent. But ha launching more audience interest not only lets you test more of those interests you may have missed out in the first go, but it also lets you do overall good targeting for that specific product and lets you target all all specific areas so in the first case you may have only targeted magazines and celebrities because that's the only amount that was allowed by the seven ad sets but in the second option you can target magazines celebrities community pages retail stores etc just because you have a bigger budget and you can launch more ad sets to test your products the second option for you if you don't like waiting is the ten dollar per day ad sets and launch nine of these ad sets so in this case, you're going to be getting results pretty fast. So you have to keep a look at us to make sure that the budget isn't getting spent too quickly. But following this option will actually let you test more products more effectively. And this is actually the best category to be in just because you have the budget to test as many products as you want and you're not risking yourself or your family while doing this. So I'm going to make this bold. Ideally, you want to get yourself in this category, even if you're in the first category. I know it's not always easy to just get access to more money, but if you really want to make a killing with e-com, you're going to need some money to invest and being in this category lets you test out the most amount of ad sets effectively so that you can get the best bang out of your buck. But moving on to our third and the highest budget category with the most amount of freedom is the third one, which I like to call the fast laner. So fast laners often ask a question. They say budget. What's that? I've never heard of that. And to clarify what that means, they don't actually have a budget at all. They're willing to spend whatever, as long as it's not over $4,000, $5,000, they're willing to invest as much money as needed because budget is not a problem for them. And this is the category which can spend the most amount of ad sets and the most amount of products and also in most cases find the most amount of success because they're testing more products at higher budgets. But if you're a fast laner, meaning budget is not really a problem, you have a full-time income 
or you have a lot of money saved up and you're single or you have a family to support but you have a lot of savings, you need to spend a minimum of $150 testing each product. Sometimes this number can go up to even $250 depending on what kind of product it is. And that is when you think a product is actually a winner based on the data that you have gotten, meaning the product that you just tested actually got you sales, but you're not fully sure whether it is a winning six-figure product or not, so you launch more ad sets for that. But what is the most effective way to test as a fast laner? The first option for you is launching $5 per day ad sets but launch 17 of them. So you're gonna have 17 different interests, either lookalike audiences or interest targeting ad sets, and you're gonna launch a new product to these specific ad sets. The reason why I still like to do $5 per day ad sets is because in the recent months that I have personally been testing my product with Facebook ads, I've always consistently found more results testing on smaller budgets, which is why I still recommend that. But the second option for you is launching $10 ad sets, but 12 of these. And again, after the first day, not every single ad set is going to match our metrics, so you're gonna be getting rid of at least one fourth of the ad sets. Fastlaner, again, will have the highest amount of budget to spend into getting results and you will have a better chance of getting those positive results. As you guys saw, there are three different options for you. This question does not have one specific answer and anyone who gives you one specific answer is not telling you the truth. E-commerce is not an easy one word answer game. There's a lot of things that go into making a store successful and that starts up with knowing exactly how much money you need to test your product so you can plan accordingly. But comment down below which category you belong to and let me know what you were doing so far when it came to testing products. Are you in the frugal testing category or are you in the carefree or are you in the fast laner category? But if you found any type of value in this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below to please the YouTube gods and subscribe while you're at it and I'll see you guys next time.